It's vault day, baby, and you know what that means. We're turning these eight foot ceilings into 11 feet. Let them do their thing, y'all. We'll, we'll work in between them. Chop, chop! Okay, I fucking hate doing this, but we're gonna do this anyways, all right? Got my boys from Harvey Homes helping us out on this frame. As you can see, we've already started with the rafters. So we got the rafters started. As you can hear, there's beating in the background. This is the real life, real deal shenanigans. As you can see, the rafters are the first things to take part. Got to sister every single rafter within the vaulted ceiling structure to make sure that it's structurally supported and appropriate for the engineer to sign off on at the end of the day. So these are the rafters. They're two by 10 in different legs, ranging from two by 10 by 14 all the way down to two by 10 by eight. So after the rafters are complete, we're onto the collar ties. Now what the collar ties do is help the structure to avoid pushing down and bowing out the walls. So what it does, it counteracts the weight for the roof structure sitting on top of the block foundation. After all the rafters are in and all the collar ties are in, we're onto the bottom part of the vault. After the rafters were done, we moved to the collar ties. Once the collar ties are done, we moved to the bottom portion of the ceiling that is gonna house the pot lights. The original plan was to use the existing ceiling joists, but as you can see, they're fucking garbage, so they got to go. Lumber cost, through the roof, literally. As mentioned, we had to use a four ply on a ceiling that we've never done before. In order to achieve the engineer specifications, we had to use the GRK fasteners to ensure that we gave the structural stability that was needed. In the past, sometimes we framed with these two by tens and they were actually worked for the drywall as well. But because of the way this roof is laid out, we had to sister all the joists and then reframe in front of it with two by fours that this is not technically a structural aspect of the ceiling, it's more so just to hold the drywall. One thing about the vaulted ceilings is that the corners are super, super tricky. So what they have to do is they have to make sure that they block accordingly to ensure that the drywall will not be floating. The vapor barrier that you're seeing right now, we do this because it's easier to do now than later. When we vapor barrier this section of the wall, we can tie in easily to the piece that's already up there. Plus, we know that it's 100% covered behind the stud. And that's a wrap. The vaulted ceiling is now complete. Turned out amazing. The skylight just adds that extra feature in this place. And then when we add the pot lights, the pendant lights, it's gonna bring it to a whole nother level. I can't wait to show you what this kitchen looks like. It's got more of a modern feel to it. It's gonna be fantastic. Something we've never done before. It's gonna have a gas stove, but most importantly, it's gonna have a seven foot island. So I encourage you to please make sure you follow all of our social media accounts. Type in Del Grande Homes, you'll be able to find us everywhere. Visit our website, delgranehomes.com. We're up for every challenge because we love what we do. See you on the next video. Peace.